Come on now. Give you favor. Come on now. Woo, my God. Come on now. How in the world Come on, you're do you think the children of Israel built the tabernacle in the wilderness? Gold and bronze and precious stones. Mm -hmm. Read this in the book. You don't see when nobody dug a mine. You don't see when anybody spun silk. Hmm. They had that gold and silk and silver on them when they left the temporary place. Come on now. It was beautiful. It was made of gold and read the book that's in there. They got that from their enemies. Yes. Come on now. They got it from their enemies. Come on now. You don't know what God is trying to teach you. Hmm. When you're in a place of discomfort, you don't understand the riches and the wealth that God has stored for you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm sure I'm getting blessed by this. Hallelujah. So the Bible says that they went out prosperous. <laughs> and the Bible says in Exodus chapter 1 verse 4, seven through four, and the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly and the land was filled with them and there was those and there arose a new king over Egypt who knew not Joseph mm -hmm. and they was envious mm -hmm. and they was taskmasters mm -hmm. but let me tell you something be careful about what you complain about be careful what you cry about be careful because God was working in that situation when it was just 70 and famine. God was working in that situation. You don't understand. You are called to bear a cross. You are called to do a work. And nobody said the work was easy. Nobody said if it was easy, everybody would be in the Olympics. Come on now. If it was easy, every person that knew how to bounce a basketball would be in the NBA. Yes. And the NBA wouldn't mean nothing because everybody's there. The reason the NBA is so special, the reason why the Olympic medal is so special because a few of 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 a few is able to pass the test to win the prize. Come on, and why is it? Because they suffered persecution. They suffered pain. They got up early. There was discipline to study. There was discipline to train. While their friends were out drinking and having a good time, they were, they were sleeping and working out, perfecting their craft to win the prize. Only a few. So God has something special for you. You are a child of the King of the Most High. There's nobody greater It's not. Get ready for it. Get ready for it. You want to be like a professional. You have to be willing to suffer what a professional suffers when nobody sees them. If you want to be an A student, you have to do what the A student do when folks are watching TV. You have to turn off the TV to study. If you want to be like them, you have to go through what they go through because there's no such thing as a shortcut to success. Jesus said, every man, pick up your cross and follow me. Yes. Come on now. You're not going to get there unless you're nailed to a cross. Baby, bring your cross with you. Because God has a crown for you if you can stand it. So they wandered in the wilderness. It was only a day or so from Egypt to Canaan. But they wandered for 40 years, because of their hardness and their heart, they wandered. They didn't appreciate the deliverance. They didn't appreciate what God had done. And God says in the book that they wandered in the wilderness because God had to teach them humility. How do you need to be taught humility when you just spent 400 years a slave? Come on now. You see, you're not going to be delivered until you learn 
learn the lessons of why you're in this situation. Come on now. It's not going to change until you pass your test. It's not going to change until you get an attitude of gratitude. It's not going to change Come by on. whining and complaining. It's God is not going to move by people who are always complaining about their situation. God is not going to listen to you whining and complaining about not having any money, whining and complaining about being sick, whining and complaining about people talking about you. God is not going to listen to you until you can lift your hands situation. It says, God, I don't care. I'm going to worship you. I don't care how much money I have. I don't care who talks about me. I don't care because there's a place of promise that I have to walk into. Come on now. You preach it to me. Come on. It's not going to change. Hmm. Jonah in the well was there three days longer than he had to. But when the brother got through complaining and he began to worship in the belly of the well under the ocean,
You better come uh, on. Uh, yeah, shut up. Yeah. Uh, it's a place hmm. where you learn to fast. Yes. Drop this. Hallelujah. It's Glory to your name, Jesus. Where you learn how to appreciate the small things. Yeah. The trap places is where God works miracles. Come on, the trap places where you're sustained. So that when it's time for you to walk into the land of milk and honey, you remember how God kept you in the trap place. So you appreciate what he's done for you right here. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to. But it's time yeah. for us. Step out. Yeah, yeah. Why are you wandering in the wilderness of mediocrity when he's called you to royalty? Why are you living beneath your privilege? What are you waiting on? It's not God that's keeping you in that dry place. It's your fear, doubt, and unbelief that's keeping you in bondage because he whom the Son has set free is Hallelujah. free indeed. He has broken the chains of yeah. sin. He has defeated Yes. Hallelujah. It's time to walk out of the dry place. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the dry place. Yes. Because in the pit, I learned to pray. Come on now. You better say that. In the pit, ah. I learned to trust and to lean on your everlasting in the pit. Yes. Huh? Not when everybody's patting me on the back. Yes. So, oh, you're doing a good job. Yes. Talking yes. About you. Yes. That's yes. when I learned that Ooh, God, yes. you are my strength and yes. my salvation. Hallelujah. In the cave, when I'm hiding for my life, I will lift up my eyes to the hills with coming my help. I went into the cave broken. Yes. I went into Come the cave now. needing help. But in the cave, I was strengthened in the body. I was strengthened in the pit. Hey, it's not how you look at it. Yes, it is how you look at it. Just change your perception and see the hand of God moving in your situation. God has brought me here. And guess what, buddy? When God brings me through, he's bringing me through to help you. You were trying to hurt me, but I'm going to help you. you. You better say that. Yes, I am. Because see, God will put a whooping on him. Baby, that you court can't do. God Come on now. Everybody ain't got to have a little building. 
Everybody got to have their little thing, thingy thing. Mm -hmm. Right here, where all these five churches that's covering all these denominations and languages, there should be no crime. Mm -hmm. There should be no poverty. There should be prosperity. Everybody up here should have a job. Mm -hmm. And more abundantly. Mm -hmm. Because God didn't put you here just to put up a building and a cross on the wall and get a couple of tambourines and say, I got a church. He says, I go to all the nations mm -hmm. and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. Not just the apostles, but to us. Mm -hmm. To us. That's our job. You want to have a church, doggone it. Somebody better know about it. Mm. If there's five churches on this block, they better be saying, there's healing at the church in the middle. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to remember the name. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the church where the man who was hooked on cocaine got delivered in one day. I'm looking for the church mm -hmm. where the woman who came in on a wheelchair left without the wheelchair. Come on, I'm man. looking, I'm looking for the church where folks are getting slain in this because I heard over in Lancaster, I heard over in Mojave, I heard down in Inglewood that there's a church in Palmdale where the Spirit of God is. Hmm. Hmm. Come on now. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. If you're going to be here, be here. Come on now. And let the whole world know you're here one person at a time. Give God a hand, praise. Jesus came to save. He only ministered three and a half years mm -hmm. to 12 main guys. He walked a radius of about 30 miles. Mm -hmm. And his mission was to teach 12 how to save the world. Mm -hmm. His mission was to demonstrate and to fulfill the law in all righteousness, to conquer sin, to give you the authority to walk in his power Amen. and in his might and his embassy. God told Moses, you are a God to Pharaoh and Aaron is your voice. You are a God to this world and your works is the voice of God. Mm -hmm. God with the little G, don't get, don't get it twisted. He saved you to save somebody else. Mm -hmm. You cannot go to heaven by yourself. Mm -hmm. You came to the altar by yourself, but you're not going to heaven by yourself. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care how good a, a sweet potato pie you can bake. I don't care how good you're on your job. That's not going to get you to the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. You're not going by yourself. He didn't save you to stay in the corner. He didn't save you. He did not save you. He saved you to be a soldier in this army. Yes. Hallelujah. That's your main purpose. Hallelujah. And all of your resources is for the Lord, but he will give you so much that you can eat yourself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and more for your neighbor. How, how about that? If you take care of God's business, God's going to take care of your business. Yes. Every day of the week. Amen. Amen. Father God, we just thank you right now for bringing us out of a dry place. Yeah. Mm. Today, oh God, I feel so 